troll in exile. Trump playing cards are available for only $99. $99. Did you hear that? I mean, first of all, this was like he led with this announcement saying there's going to be a big announcement in all caps. And he kind of teased this. And everyone thought that he was going to announce that Carrie Lake was going to be his vice president. (laughs) And then he came out and announced these amazing NFT cards. They're limited edition. They're huge. They're huge. They, 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 they show parts of his life. It's been a very interesting life. The trailer for this was ridiculous. I'm obsessed with We the have trailer. a couple clips here. Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump. Hopefully your favorite president of all time. Better than Lincoln. Better than Washington. Better than Lincoln. Better than Washington. Later on, he talks about how th- you can... Get some Zoom calls with him. I I know that Lincoln and Washington were known for their Zoom calls with the people. We're I shilling d- their Zoom calls for ninety nine dollars. <laughs> it's just like a boomer to be late to a trend that's already busted. Like the NFT thing. Didn't all the monkey people go out of business? Oh yeah, those all monkey those, like, NFTs. Celebrity. Mo- I read this whole article in the New Yorker about the girl who who is like the up and coming artist for these. And then she was with Reese Witherspoon and the whole thing's gone bust and nobody would comment for the article. Nobody wants like anything to do with it anymore. Cause it's, it's so embarrassing. And now of course, Trump is releasing his NFTs, but it is good to see him reverting back to his natural state, which is an infomercial huckster. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of infomercial that comes on at 5 a.m. when you've been partying all night and you're starting to come down and you're thinking you've made questionable choices and then this comes on and you want to freaking unalive yourself. My official Trump digital trading cards are $99, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. All of the cards themselves are such glimpses into his psyche and... The f- they're hilarious, like the cowboy, the astronaut. The fakest thing about these, other than the fact that he says that, that you can trade them like baseball cards, except you can't because they're not physical, is the abs that he has in all of, <laughs> of these trading cards. Oh, no, none of the a- I don't think any of the ones I'm showing right now have abs, <laughs> but the freaking NASA suit one is my favorite. He's got oh his God. sunglasses on inside the helmet. I know, it's amazing. The sun still shines in space, Maggie. (laughs) Is this just everyone being obsessed with their, like, the AI, like, generated art that everyone was doing of their avatars? It'd be funny if he did that and then just decided to put a price tag on it. I mean, he basically did. He and was, he sold out. <laughs> well, sold out. Supposedly. Okay. A, I think probably Allegedly. there are people who would buy these. And of course there are. That's unfortunate <laughs> <laughs> for America. <laughs> but it's also capitalism always winning, so I'm torn. And I love how he's like in the trailer. He's talking about how he, he's like, you could get dinner with me. It's it's a, one of a, a great prize. I think it's a pretty good prize. <laughs> Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. He's he's not even sure that dinner with him is a great <laughs> prize. He's like, hey, I'm willing to sit down with the Nazi sympathizer. So I, I'm willing to sit down with you. <laughs> plebs why not i know that comment of him being like maybe it's a great prize that's the most insecure i've ever seen trump <laughs> who won't i zoom with maga world was pissed the comments from maga world were hilarious they were like so upset that he did this and embarrassed and that people were like this is cringe i'm like this is the line for you this this is the line for you with trump like grab him by the pussy fine Kissing your own daughter a little too long. We'll ignore that. (laughs) Launching some digital NFTs. You guys are like, that's it. I'm out. (laughs) Bannon was like, this is embarrassing. Blaming his people. I just am astounded that this is the moment that people were like, no, this is a bridge too far. Uh (laughs) I can't Uh get behind this guy anymore. Can't do it. Can't do it. It just goes to show you, though, that like when you do something cringe like that, that's really the line. I know. And they're not even like 
he didn't even have actual cards that were printed out. They're just NFTs. <laughs> I think you would have a better shot selling physical cards. I think cards. so too. I think those people might would be, be cool. all over that. <laughs> You can use your credit card or crypto. He said crypto like he just learned what crypto was. So you can buy them with your credit card or crypto? Weirdly, <laughs> Melania is like big into NFTs, and I feel like this was 100% her idea. Oh, interesting. interesting. She's been like all up in that. It's probably because she's like a Russian plant to destabilize the whole entire <laughs> United States. Why spend $99 on a freaking digital NFT of Trump as an astronaut when you can spend $50 and join Fetacy.com for a whole year and get all kinds of stuff? Yeah. All kind, hours and hours worth of content. Hours and hours. And, and we do Zoom calls. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real reason Ivanka got out of the game with her dad. She saw these NFTs coming down the pipeline and she was like, I'll never be invited to a New York City party again. <laughs> <laughs> Invest in Trump and you're going to go broke, Iman. I laugh that this is a thing that make you, makes people too embarrassed to publicly support this guy. They'll still vote for him. Yep. 